What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam. This is Van City Audi. We are back at Racing Greed and this time with Wifey's brand new 2021 Audi Q3. This video is going to be an interesting one for me personally and I hope you guys find it as interesting as well. This brand new Audi has a Gen 3 EA888 motor. That is the two liter four cylinder turbocharged motor that is found in a Volkswagen GTI. It makes 228 horsepower and 258 foot pounds of torque from the factory. That is at least what Audi claims. The really cool thing about this car though is it says right on the damn gas tank regular 87 octane fuel. It doesn't even require 91 octane fuel. But in order to make the claimed advertised 228 and 258, we're going to need to use premium fuel. So what we're going to do today is we're going to find out exactly how much power and torque you lose by running 87 octane fuel in a vehicle with this motor. I'm thinking 20 horsepower. That's my guess ahead of time. I think we're gonna lose 20 horsepower when using 87 octane fuel compared to the appropriate octane value of 91. Actually, I might take that back. I might drop it down to 10 to 15. Our fuel here is horrible. So for those of you familiar with the channel, you've seen all my fuel comparison videos. Our fuel sucks. So even though we'll be running our 94 octane Chevron fuel, it probably won't work out as well as we hope it is going to. So what I've done is I've actually brought a bit of E85 and our final run, we're actually going to spike the car with about 10 to 15% ethanol to make sure that our timing correction is zero across all four cylinders and the car is working as well as it can be with the fuel that we put in the tank. I'm going to show you that actual sticker on the gas tank so you guys believe me and what it says in the manual of the vehicle before we get to this dyno test. Regular 87 octane fuel right on the fuel lid. Cannot believe that. First Audi I've ever seen with it and we're gonna see how much of a difference it makes. Right out of the manual, unleaded fuel only, minimum 87 regular. Use regular gasoline with a minimum 87. But Audi recommends using premium gasoline with a minimum 91 octane to achieve the rated horsepower and torque. So it allows 87 octane, but they recommend 91. First set of dyno poles is going to be with 87 octane fuel, regular unleaded fuel from Chevron for this first number with this 2021 Audi Q3 completely stock vehicle. It's really nice to be pleasantly surprised with how much power your car makes when you put it on the dyno every now and then. We were very, very surprised at these results. Something that we noticed though, the ECU is adapting extremely quickly from one run to the other. Three runs, same tank of 87 octane fuel from Chevron, and we saw big differences from the highs to the lows. So what we'll do to make sure that all of our runs are consistent is I'm going to show you the dyno graphs of the highest run versus the lowest run on each individual fuel that we use. And here's the highest versus the lowest run using 87 octane fuel. I cannot for the life of me believe we made this much power. The stock numbers claimed from the factory are 228 at the crank. This is a Mustang uncorrected number. 201 wheel horsepower versus 194, the highest versus the lowest. And then they claim 258 at the crank and we made 245 at the wheel on the highest and 228 on the lowest. There are the graphs. We are seeing a crazy amount of timing change, adapting to the fuel. It is really interesting to see, but this is the result for our 87 octane fuel comparison. Yeah. <laughs> 
More surprising results here at Racing Greed. Flabbergasted by the numbers. Keep in mind when you look at these numbers, as I've shown in many, many fuel comparisons, our premium gas here is really crappy. We don't see anything that the east coast of Canada does or down in the states, like your 93 octane fuel with up to 10% ethanol is vastly superior than our 94 ethanol free fuel here and that is what I use. So keep that in mind when you look at these crap results. Here's the graph using Chevron 94 and we made less power. 198 was the high, 197 was the low, 225 and 228 for the torque. This is the power at the wheels, remember, on this Mustang dyno. And there are the graphs, not as up and down and all over the place, a lot more smooth. The car has had some time to adapt, but very, very surprising, we made less power with premium 94 fuel than we did with 87 octane. Very, very peculiar results. So <laughs> we're trying to figure out why it's doing this and we've reviewed all of the logs. I have logged every single run we've done on the dyno. What it appears like is it almost like it has multiple maps on the car. The ECU is adapting a lot. We were seeing very, very low timing and not very much timing correction either on the 87 octane fuel. Now we're running the 94 and the car is trying to provide a higher amount of timing, yet we're seeing timing correction in multiple cylinders. So it's almost like it's thinking the octane is there and then wait, maybe it's not. And the results are as they show, it's making less power. So we're gonna run with this theory and I have brought some E85 with me now. So I'm gonna put that in the tank as well. I'm trying to bring the level up to about an E10, E15. There is no ethanol gauge in this car. I do not recommend to anyone you play with ethanol unless you have an ethanol content analyzer, but we've done this a bunch. So we are putting in enough fuel to make sure that we have about an E10 to E15 and we're gonna see if we correct that timing pull and see if we can make more power utilizing Chevron 94 with an ethanol blend versus that 87 octane pull. Every now and then you do testing like this, whether it's performance testing on the street, performance testing on the track, or dyno testing on an actual dyno, where your mind is absolutely blown. You think you know cars, you think you know how they operate, you think you know what's going to happen, and you are completely 100% wrong. Here are the results of the E10 to E15 blend. We made 203 wheel horsepower and 245 foot-pounds of torque as the best run, and we made 203 and 234 on the lowest run. Definitely more consistent and higher numbers. There are the graphs. So the power curve looks almost identical, just peaked in different spots slightly higher, and that's what provided us the run for the highest run of the day today, being 203 wheel horsepower and 243 foot-pounds of torque. Here's what you all came to see today, the results of the best run on 94 plus 10 to 15% ethanol versus the best run on 87 octane. We cannot believe our eyes. This is incredible. A two wheel horsepower difference between the best mixture you can get with Chevron 94 ethanol free fuel and E10 to E15 versus 87 run of the mill up to 10% ethanol pump gas from Chevron. The graphs look almost identical. That is truly, truly incredible. That was messed up. <laughs> that was really, really messed up. Everyone here at Racing Greed could not believe our eyes. The exact same power, the exact same torque on 87 octane fuel, pump gas, straight from the pump up to 10% ethanol, then we made with 94 octane ethanol free fuel that we added an additional 10 to 15%. We have never seen this before, ever, on any car ever. 
We've always seen more power come out of the higher octane stuff with ethanol added in, the cooling. It's just every time it's always worked out that way. This is the first time we've ever seen a car perform like this. So kudos to you, Audi, for figuring that out. I don't know how much time you guys spent on your 87 octane tuning, but damn, did you ever get it dialed in. Very, very cool. Something that I'd like to make a point on that I haven't touched on is, wow, this thing makes some jam. From the factory, Audi claims 228 horsepower at the crank and 258 foot-pounds of torque at the crank. We made 203 for power at the wheels. This all-wheel drive Mustang Dyno is notorious for underrating cars on their power. So if you add in the drivetrain loss, you are way over 228 horsepower. As for the torque, it's even worse. 245 at the, uh, at the wheels and they claim 258 at the crank. It's making way more power than Audi advertises. We've seen it before in other Audis before, other European uh, car manufacturers as well, but we've seen it right here. Pretty damn impressive. I hope you guys found this video really informative. I found it super interesting. I had no idea it was gonna work this way, and now I can comfortably let wifey know you can fill up with 87 octane from Chevron, and you are making virtually the same power as the fancy stuff that I put in my other cars. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.